As an artist, what do I think about this new AI software that generates art? So I'll tell you my take on it. So I think it's absolutely amazing because now I can have my reference photos auto generated for me. So before I would sketch, I would research on Pinterest, I would like go places and collect uh, visual like um, ideas like and I save that to my phone. Now literally in minutes I could do something like this. I mean this is crazy guys like literally crazy. Like this was a prompt that I put in like <laughs> a prompt in discord. And I just told it like what I was looking for and it made this. I love technology. So I will always be forward for technology, even if it is changing the art landscape. This is absolutely amazing. Like what can I do with that now to render my own like style? It's, it's going to absolutely like revolutionize what I do in my painting styles now. And I'll show you a little bit more of my artwork a little bit later in the video uh, as I just kind of just walk you through like the uses for this. For anybody here that is an artist, use it to your advantage. Don't ever look at it as a disadvantage. Like, oh, I'm going to get less jobs or now it's taking over more of my work. Don't ever like discredit your originality. Because you have your own voice, your own style, and people want to interact with people, not robots. They're not going to want to hire programmers to come up with art, okay? At least uh, you have a way to render like in a totally different way than any machine can ever replace. So never discredit yourself. Other than that, I love uh, AI. Like, I just love it. I love using it. I love, you know, trying out different features. And this is only one of the AI things that I've been playing around with. I've been playing around with a lot more. So this one is the one in Canva where it's essentially the same thing, but the quality is so bad, like really, really bad. <laughs> so not only am I a fine artist, like paint artist, I also do a lot of different art. Of course, I make my reels. I am a visual artist as much as, as I am like a writer and just a creative person. That's why I took up entrepreneurship as my career, right? I'm, I'm building myself up of creating my re own reality. But look at how terrible these ones with the same type of prompt I put in as the other ones. It's just totally different. Now, the one up in the corner is actually kind of cool. Like, I kind of like that one, even though it looks like little ram horns. <laughs> but you can see the total quality difference. Also, it took a lot longer for Canva to come up with these images. And I just kept, you know, actually putting in the data and seeing what I could generate from uh, the Canva AI. But, you know, this is really cool, like, software just to get ideas on styling, ideas on, like, vision. Instead of spending hours and hours and hours of research time hiring people for the different type of renditions and not essentially liking any of them, you can literally get some kind of reference that you can now take this to the designer. Now you can take this to an artist. And here's one of my pieces. I don't know if you can see the two women in it, but this is like one of the base layers of it. The background's done, and this is like the second layer, and then I do a lot of layers on top. And here is one of my pieces in the back of this review video I did for, for Amazon. Again, all these links are in my bio, guys, so check out my bio. If you're looking at more of my artwork, here's another review video with another one of my big pieces in the back. Uh, again, just for the context of this clip. But if you want to see more of my art, go follow me on IG, Instagram. I have an art count there that is under Amina Art Collection. Follow that account. I'm going to actually have more stuff there. I also have one on TikTok here if you want to see more video of my art. And that's under Amina Art. So I'll see you over there soon. Take care and I'll see you in the next one.